Hi party people! I am so excited for you guys to learn all about Monet, um, what I love about these products, and I cannot wait to show you a little bit of a science experiment on the dry shampoo. So the dry shampoo is amazing. It's one of my favorite products with Monet because it is multi-purpose. You can use it on clean hair for an extra volume. You can use it at night to soak up the oils. And you guys, dry shampoo, the kind that you probably have at home right now, is highly flammable. So stay tuned, watch next. I'm gonna show you guys a little experiment with two other really popular brands of dry shampoo that you might actually have in your cupboard right now. I'm not going to name the names of these brands, but as you can see, we have these two and then Monate's dry shampoo. So let's go ahead and use this one first. The back, it does say it contains propane, it contains butane, and it also says it is very flammable and um, dangerous. So we've got the candle going. Hold on. All right, so this is what can happen if you were to go. Holy cow. All right. All right, and we're gonna try this brand which also says, if you look right here, I don't know if it's blurry or not, it says solvent abuse can kill instantly, extremely flammable. You guys be careful. So this is the other brand. Whoa, all right. And we have Monate's dry shampoo, which does not contain propane or butane. And it is made out of tomato seed oil, coconut seed oil, lemon peel oil. And this is going, this is a conditioning um, dry shampoo. It's going to not have as much white um, powder as you would like on a regular dry shampoo. It's going to add shine. It's going to add volume to your hair. And it is made out of organic sugar cane oil and it covers more like a dry shampoo, you know, if your hair starts to get greasy. So let's see what this Monate dry shampoo does when we put it against the fire. Would you look at that? So be careful what you guys are putting on your hair. Oh my gosh, you guys, did that not just like blow your mind? If those two brands of shampoo are not what you have in your cupboard right now, I bet if you go and look at the very back of your dry shampoo that you've got at home in your bathroom, it probably says that it contains butane or propane. And you guys, you're putting that in your hair and then you're curling it or you're adding the flat iron to it. That is so, so bad for you. So I hope um, this was a little exciting to have you guys watch. I can't wait for you guys to see what else I've got for you guys. Um, all right, have a great rest of your day.